Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, welcome back to another Sony Makopi Pro tutorial. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can record facial animation with body animation using the Sony Makopi Pro in Unreal Engine 5.6. Now, if you haven't seen the first two videos of this series, you might as well check those out because if not, you're going to be lost. Because I'm going to start with everything already set up. And basically, all we have to do now is record the animations. All right, so first things first, we have to make sure that we have the take recorder enabled in the plugins. I already have it enabled. If I go to cinematic right here, you can see I have the take recorder, which is good. And to record the body and facial animation is simple. All you have to do is find your blueprint and drag and drop your blueprint here. Click on the actual blueprint inside. And right here in the FPS, you can select whatever you want. I go usually with 60 FPS. And scrolling down right here, I will actually uncheck reduce keys. And right now, if I press record, this is going to record everything from facial and body animation, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and do that. I will set my settings, my viewport to maybe medium, because again, I want as much FPS as I can. If I click on this and type in FPS, type in FPS right here so we can show our FPS. We're getting about 76 frames per second, which is not too bad. And as you can see here, I'm actually recording in a blank project or level because, you know, you don't want too many stuff while you're recording. It's usually not a good idea. All right. Now, before I record, I'll just reset my pose. Click on don't show this again. Perfect. Kind of move my facial animation in here. Go back. And then we can record our take here. Two, one. Now the first one I'm going to record is kind of just like an idle animation. Okay, I'll press stop. And now I am now going to record a little bit of dialogue for the NPC, the non-playable character. Oh boy, am I glad to see you. Yeah, I thought I was the only one left here. The rest of the crew went to that tower over there. Maybe you can go find them and tell them to come back. I'm getting pretty scared out here by myself. All right, so that's that. I'll press stop. Now that we have that stop, I'm going to go to File and Save All. And in the BP, I will turn everything off. And I'm even going to turn off the Mokopi for now. Because now, if I go to the Content, Game, Cinematics, Takes, we are now going to find the animation that we recorded. So this one is the actual animation of the take. We have the body and we have the head together. And we also have the take second, which is basically just the idle animation. Just walking around, looking around and whatnot. Okay. And I will save this again. And what's cool about this is I can actually drag this here and preview it because it is animation by itself. And additionally, since these are animation sequences, I can export them and import them in a different project. So we will do that. I'll take this one right here, export. I'll create a new folder, idle. And I'm gonna put body idle, anim body idle anim. Save it. I'm just going to leave everything by default. I found that 2013 works best at the moment. And I'll also click that facial animation. And this one is going to be the head idle anim. Save. Export. I will save everything. And now what I will do is I will import those FBXs into another project. Okay, so here we are in another Unreal Engine 5 project. We have a MetaHuman on the scene. And the first thing we will be doing is importing the assets that we exported out. So here in this folder, I'll just drag and drop body idle. 
in an empty folder that I created called Sony Mocap. And here for the skeleton, I will select Meta Human. Now I have two, but if you only have one Meta Human type in your project, you should only see one. But I did this test prior, and it's actually this one. And I'll just say import. Once again, I will import now the face, which is the idol first. And for this one, for the skeleton, I'm going to type in face, and it will be the face archetype skeleton. And I will do that for the talking as well. Now that that's done, I will right click here and create a new cinematic. And I'll type in idle anim. I'll double click that, click our meta human, click add, add actor to track, and the meta human right here. I'll close this out. I will delete the meta human control rigs. And in the body, I will attach an animation, which is going to be body idle. And as you can see, the body is now animating properly. For the face, I'll do the same thing. And I'm going to say idle face atom. Now you're going to notice something extremely wrong, but that's okay. Because if you remembered, whenever we recorded with Sony Macopi Pro, we disabled some neck movements and we modified the blueprint. This project does not have a modified blueprint. I will go to the content browser, go to content, go to MetaHumans folder, and type in here, post. We're now going to see the face post process and a BP that is shared all across the MetaHumans. And in here, you're going to see a head movement IK. And instead of having one, I will set that to zero. Compile, save, exit. And now you see that the neck is no longer screwed up. Okay, so I'll just increase this here. And remember, I was talking a little bit in the beginning, but really all I want here is the idle, right? So maybe when I'm looking this way, I'm going to click this, right click, split. Additionally, the one at the bottom, I'll split these, then delete these, and move them to the left. Okay, I'm going to move them all the way to the left side, because again, all I want is kind of him looping around. Right click, edit, split. Right click, edit, split. And it's about 350, I'll say it's 356 frames. I will right click that and say end frame. So now we just have this looping animation now here, I can probably do a little bit of cleanup because as you can see, the arm is hitting my armor. So for the body, I will right click and I will bake this to a meta human control rig and press create. Next, I'll click this add and say additive and then press G. We are now going to see some control points for us to manipulate. Now. We are in the additive section, so we'll make sure that we're doing the additive. We're not replacing the original keyframes. And here, I'm going to turn off the snap. So I can just move this kind of out of the way so it's not clipping on the actual armor here. Just like so. And if you want, you can set the keyframe there and the keyframe here. So that, you know, it looks good. Not bad. So that looks pretty good for the idle animation. Once again, I'll save that. Okay, let's test that out real quick. I will exit out the sequencer. In my content browser, I'll type in the name of that sequence. And I will just drag and drop it to our scene here. And we should see this icon now for the sequencer. And we should also see it here on the right side. Now, from here, let's press this here. 
I will click on auto play and this is going to be looping indefinitely. And to test that out, I will go to the play mode and select the viewport. And this should play it. Here we go. And as you can see, here is now our NPC metahuman just chilling and looping around. Okay, press escape. That's very good. So now what we will do is I will go to the idle atom, copy and paste, control C, control V, and I'll name this talk atom. And in the talk atom, in the details, I will look for that idle atom, and I'll also duplicate this to talk atom sequence. Double click this. I will delete the body and the face animations because what we want to do now is add in the talk animation. So I'll talk talk. You're going to now see we have a talking body anim. And I will also add the face component. And I'm going to say talk as well. Additionally, I went ahead and imported the audio file. So let's add that here. Click the audio, should be this one. And I will just fast forward to where I actually started talking. All right, so this looks like it's about synced. Oh boy, am I glad to see you. All right, so that's good. Yeah, it's in around 30 frames. I'll split this section. I'm going to trim it here also. I'll select all of them, scoot them over to the left, all the way to zero frames. At around 500 frames, I'll just end it. Save it. And once again, we can edit the body here so they're not clipping. And then next, I will create a camera here so that once we play the animation, we will actually see it kind of like an NPC style. I'm going to turn on my, I'll turn on my focus settings, turn on the debug, and just get our character in focus here. Like so. Turn this off. And we will now save that. In the outliner, I will click the talk anim, and we will replace this with the talking anim sequence. And we're not going to be auto-playing this or looping this because we only want to play this when the player gets close to the actual NPC. Click on the plus box and I'm going to type in trigger. This is going to be a trigger box. And I'll scoot it over here in front so that when the player gets close to the NPC, is going to play that sequence the talking sequence that we just created. Next, what we will do is go to our level blueprint. And in here, I will grab our trigger box, highlight it, right click, add event for trigger box, collision on actor, begin overlap. And again, I'll minimize this because now, I will select the talking animation, highlight that in the outliner, go back to the blueprint, right click, create a reference to talk anim, and we will say play sequence. And additionally, we'll go back to our outliner, highlight the idle anim, right click, create a reference, and this one, we will actually stop sequence and whenever the actor overlaps the trigger it's going to stop this sequence and then play the next sequence compile save okay let's give this a play test all right we are now walking oh boy am i glad to see you yeah, I thought I was the only one left here. 
The rest of the crew went to that tower over there. Maybe you can go find them and tell them to come back. I'm getting pretty scared out here by myself. And that is pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you use the Sony Micopi Pro to create NPC cinematics in Unreal Engine 5.